Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn about how to create a card as a web component. So we generally use as the card of CSS or Bootstrap where we will be having a card structure and on top of it, we can write whatever the data we want and that will be rendered in your UI. So that is where the card component used for. So let's try to develop that type of web component in JavaScript. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. And to understand how to create and how to append the children of a DOM, please watch my previous video for better understanding for creating a custom elements. Let me go to the JS file and in this, let's create a class. The class is something like a card web component. And now let me extend this by using HTML element where I can create all the type of HTML content here. And let me use a constructor which will be initialized whenever this instance is created. So let me use a super keyword whenever we want to get all the values or all the inherited properties, we can use a super keyword. And let me create a shadow element const shadow is equal to this dot attach shadow. I'm trying to attach the shadow and making it as mode colon open state so that I can see the shadow elements on my UI. And now let me create a div element const div is equal to document dot create element there is something called as a create element to know about the create element please watch my js dom series where you will be finding this create element i'll provide the link in the description and here let me paste a div element and this div element will have a style property div element dot style dot border let me give a border and this border what i want to do is just we will take it from the attributes so whenever you want to get something from attribute then we can use this dot get attribute method and inside this attribute method we can get whatever the attribute we want let me pass this border if border exists then take the border whatever the value which we are passing in our attribute else we will be taking a default value something like one pixel solid black so let me give semicolon and enter and now let me write one more style where div dot style dot padding. Let me give a padding of this dot get attribute. Let's get this padding also from the attributes. And if the padding exists, then I'll use the this dot get attribute of padding. Else I'll give the default padding. Let me take it, consider it as 10 pixel. And let me give a height and width which are required for creating a card. So let me give the height this dot get attribute of height. Let me provide this height. And if the height exists, then use the same height whatever provided whenever it is utilized. And else we will be using 300 pixel or you can just use auto. Based on your content, the height will go on increasing. Div dot style dot width let me give a property called as width this dot get attribute of let me give width and this width will be passed from the ui through the element and let me copy the same thing paste here and instead of height let me replace width and by default let's use 300 pixel as a width let me save this and i have created my div element let's see this output by using shadow dot append child appending the child to my shadow element and that child is equivalent to my div element. So I have created my card web component and what I want to do is let me create a custom element custom elements dot define we will be creating a custom element with card hyphen web hyphen component and the class whatever we are using for this is card web component let me give semicolon and here this is ready to use on my ui let me go to the html content and let me write a card web component save this and i'm not passing anything the default value should be applied like one pixel solid black 10 pixel and auto height and 300 pixels let me go here and let me reload this if you see here the auto content has been rendered on the ui and this is 300 percent let me make it as 100 percent and let me inspect this when you inspect this particular element then you can find that particular element details here you can see all the style properties has applied with the default values for example 
if I want to pass some data into this HTML content, then how to do that? So I'm passing some data like H1, hi, save this and go here and reload. You are not able to see that hi inside this division. So because it is not created inside the shadow, it is created outside of the shadow element. So that is the reason what we can do. Just go here and try to use div dot inner HTML is equal to this dot inner HTML. Whatever the HTML I am passing inside this particular card web component that can be appended and it is given to the inner HTML of the shadow div. And let me go here and reload. You can see that high here. So now whatever the data you want to pass here, for example, if you want to pass a input field, then you can pass an input field with a placeholder testing and save this go here and reload that input field has been rendered inside your card container so inside the card whatever the data you want you can pass it now what i want to do is i want to add some radius as well div dot style dot border radius is equal to this dot get attribute save get attribute of radius i'm passing my attribute name as radius if radius exists please take that radius and else we can pass 10 pixel let me save this by default we need to get the 10 pixel and if you see here there is a curve and now we can pass the properties from here so let me pass width is equal to what is the width for this let me give 400 pixel and let me give height equal to I can give something like 100 pixel and radius let me give the radius as 20 pixel and then we can go here and see the padding part so padding also we can give something like 25 pixel and then go here and you can apply the border also this time i'll apply the border something like 2 pixel solid red color and now all this property should be overridden in my custom card component and that should be rendered in my ui let me go here and reload if you see here everything is working as expected so the content whatever we are writing inside this that depends on the user who is utilizing this card but if you want to write the content differently then you can create one more card component something like this and this time i'll pass the border as a blue color and let me use instead of this input field i'll show something like an error message save this and you can write the paragraph as well if you require let me write a paragraph and paste here save this go here and reload so you got a blue color border with error message inside that particular card so it is just like a card which can be customized at any time at anywhere by anyone using this custom element of a javascript hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you